we are all welcome to this teaching series. You know, as I was studying the Bible this morning, something struck me in the scriptures. You know, each time you open the Bible, you see something fresh and something new. And I decided that we we'll, we we'll shift our focus from our ongoing teaching and we'll look at that one, which is so fresh this morning. Let's open our Bible to the book of First Thessalonians chapter one. So something so refreshing today. First Thessalonians. I know most of us are not seeing. First Thessalonians chapter one. For those who can see, what of the touch? Why not give to some people the touch so that they can see? Are you still seeing? Praise the Lord. So first turn uh, chapter one from verse one, maybe read to is a short uh, it's not long. Let's read it all through so that they this before. letter is from Paul. It's from who? Paul. From Paul, okay. Silas and Timothy. Mm-hmm. We are writing to the church in Thessalonica. Mm-hmm. To you who belong to God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. May God give you grace and peace. The faith of the Thessalonian believers. We also thank God for all of you and pray for your con- for you constantly. As we pray to our God and Father about you, we think of your faithful work, your loving deeds, and the enduring hope you have because of our Lord Jesus Christ. We know, dear brothers and sisters, that God loves you and has chosen, and has chosen you to be his own people. Mm-hmm. For when we brought you the, God, the good news, it was not only with words, but also with power. For the Holy Spirit gave you full assurance, and what we said was true. And you know of our... And you know of our concern for you from the way we live when we were with you. So you received the, me- the message with joy from the Holy Spirit in spite of the severe suffering we brought you. You received the words. The, the message. message with word. What verse is that? Joy. That's verse 6. The people of Thessalonica received the message that was brought to them with what? Joy. With joy. Despite the word. Yes. From the Holy Spirit in mm-hmm. spite of the severe suffering he brought to you. So there were sufferings that came to them, but they did what? They received that message with joy. The gospel they received brought words to them. It brought suffering. Read again. Can you read again? Uh-huh. Read all so over that place received, you read. So you received the message with joy from the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. In spite of the severe suffering it brought you. In, this in way, spite of what? The severe suffering it brought you. What brought them suffering? Because they received the message with joy. No. It was the message that... Can, can, let me see from King James. Which verse is that? Six. Read verses from King James. Let me see. And he became followers of us and of the Lord, of the Lord mm-hmm. having received the word in much affliction. Having received the word with what? In much affliction. In much afflictions. With joy of the Holy Ghost. Are you aware? They received the word. The word came with much as affliction. They began to afflict the church. When you read Acts chapter 17, a lot of things came up. They began to persecute them. They began to be afflicted, but they received the, 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 the message with what? With joy. Uh, can I continue from there? From King James. Okay. So that you were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. Mm-hmm. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place your faith to God's word is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. Mm -hmm. For they themselves shew of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how you turned to God for my doors to serve the living and true God. And to wait for his son. Now, the people turn from where? From idols to what? To serving a true God. And after that, to do what? It continues to what? And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The fact of the Bible is that there is a wrath to come. There is what? There is a wrath to come. But we have somebody who is going to come. And his name is Jesus. And what is he coming to do? One of the things he's coming to do is what? Is to deliver us from what? From the wrath to come. 
Wrath means boiling anger. There is a wrath that is going to come. But the good news is that there is going to be a deliverance. So the people had turned away from idol to who? To God. And thereafter, what was the next thing? It was to wait for who? For his son who is to come. So after as a child of God, you have turned to the Lord. Amen. There is another responsibility. There is another greater assignment. Your greater responsibility is what? Is to wait for who? For his son to come. Because he's coming to what? To deliver us from the wrath to come. There's going to be wrath. There is going to be serious tribulations. The devil will be let loose. He will appear. The Bible called the time of tribulation is going to come. Amen. Amen. But the Bible said Jesus will come to what? To deliver us from what? The wrath to come. So the greatest thing about this faith we are, we are following or that we are custodian of is that there is, a de- there is a wrath that we come, but there is a deliverance. Before the flood came, Noah was delivered. Noah was what? Was delivered. There was an, a package for Noah's deliverance. Before the fire of Sodom, there was a package for Lot's deliverance. So, but this, now remember, it was angels that the Lord sent to what? To deliver Lot. God sent angel. But you know the good news, man? The rod that is going to come upon the whole world, which uh, uh, Revelation chapter 3 says, may, may, may mention about chapter, verse 3 of 10. That, that trying moment is going to come upon the face of, let's see that please. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 talks about the time of tribulation that is coming upon the whole world. So this one is going to be, it's not going to be upon Sodom and Gomorrah alone. It's going to be upon the whole world. So it must take the Savior of the world, Jesus himself, to deliver men to that road to come. Not angel, but the Lord himself is going to come for that deliverance. Are you, are you there? Revelation chapter 3 verse, verse 10. And then we're going to read out those first to Nica chapter 4. Because you have uh, obeyed my command uh-huh. to persevere. Because you have obeyed my command to what? To persevere despite what is happening. Despite the challenges. Sir Rebecca, despite everything that we're passing through, we are what? We have obeyed God's command to what? To persevere. It is a commandment from the Lord that you should persevere. No matter what we are passing through. We should persevere. Uh-huh. What now happened to you? I will protect you from the great time of testing that will come upon you. I will protect you. Can you say, I will deliver you from the other temptation? Is that what James says? I will, I will keep you. Uh-huh. Keep thee mm-hmm. from the hour of temptation. Mm-hmm. That shall come Which upon the shall world. come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon them. So there's going to be an hour of temptation. But there's going to be a keeping. Praise the Lord. Let's go to First Thessalonica chapter 4, verse 13. It speaks about what Paul began to talk about there. So it's an elaborate. Paul began to elaborate in the chapter 4 and then verse 13. The same First Thessalonica chapter. We are chapter 4, verse 13, down to 17. So that you can understand what it's been said here. And now, and now dear and sister, uh-huh. we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died so you will Are you hearing that, Ba? So that even in the midst of your suffering as believers, but eventually you die, we want you to know what will happen to those who have died. So because you, it's, not, it's not in vain. Uh-huh. So you will not grieve like people who have no hope. Are you hearing that, Ba? So that you not grieve. Uh-huh. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. We tell you this directly from the Lord. Mm-hmm. We who are from who? From the Lord. Paul wrote a letter, but where did he get what he was telling them from? From the Lord. It was, so it was not Paul's message. It's the Lord's message. Paul is a, is a conveyor. He's a messenger. We saw Jeremiah 23, where you read for, to the end. He says, he says, I have not sent them, but they have run. But this one says, Paul, no, it's not like that. We were sent. I'm a messenger of the Lord. I'm not giving you my own word. I tell you by the word. Eh? Read on. We who are still living, with, we who are still living, when the Lord returns, mm-hmm. we will not meet him at already 
will not meet him ahead of those who have died. Mm -hmm. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven. No, no, wait, wait. The Lord himself is going to what? Come down from heaven. What is he coming to do? Chapter 1, verse 8 says what? To and to wait for his son. Who do what? Who comment and what? And deliver us from what? From the rot delivers us. He delivers. He rescues us. Is that what he says? Is that not verse 8? What verse 8? Chapter 1, verse 8 says. And to wait for. Let's go to chapter 1. The word of the Lord is ringing out from you to mm -hmm. people everywhere. Uh -huh. when, even beyond Macedonia and Achaia. Mm -hmm. For wherever we go, we find people telling us. Go about to verse 9. Go to verse 9. The last verse. I think that is for, 9. Or okay. That is which verse? 10. Is verse 10. Verse. Uh, uh, okay. Verse and 10. They speak of, Colossians, of, uh -huh. of how you are looking forward to the coming of God's Son from heaven. They were looking forward to who? God's the coming of God's Son from heaven. To Jesus, do what? Uh -huh. Whom God raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. He is the one who has, who has rescued us from the terrors of the coming judgment. He has rescued us. The Bible says, He delivers us. He delivers us. To wait for Him. So it has that waiting for him. So when he's coming, what is he going to do? That is what where you are now, he says. Can you go to where you are in chapter 4? For the Lord himself will come. For the Lord him. himself will come with what? We'll with this a uh, heaven. Uh -huh. With a commanding shout. Uh -huh. With the voice of the... No. An archangel. Mm -hmm. Yes, with the voice of an archangel. Mm -hmm. Come out from heaven with the, with the commanding shout. With the voice of an archangel. Mm -hmm. And with the trumpet call of God. Mm -hmm. Of God first. The Christians who have died will rise from their grave. Who will rise from their grave? The Christians who have died. Are you about the Christians yes. who have died? What do they do? Rise they will their rise grave. from their grave. Amen. Uh -huh. Continue. First, the Christians who have died will rise from their graves. Mm -hmm. Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Mm -hmm. Then we'll be with the Lord forever. Mm -hmm. So encourage each other with these words. Praise the Lord. Encourage. We'll be with the Lord. Why? He has what? He will come to what? To oh, himself. It's not angel. It was angel that was sent to Sodom. Abi yes. and Gomorrah. But now it is not angel. It is himself that will come to deliver us. From the road to come. I will be with him. So our encouragement is that the Lord is going to come. What is our greater encouragement? No matter what you are passing through as a Christian, what is your greater encouragement? The Lord is going to come one day to deliver us, to save us, to from the hour of temptation that shall come upon what? Upon the whole world. He's coming himself. Now, let's go back to chapter 1, verse 3. That is what I want to talk about. I'm actually talking about, just briefly, I don't want to be long, about three key things needed to make the rapture. Three key things. That is what's verse 3 of chapter and 1. We pray to our God and Father about you. Uh -huh. We think of your faithful work. Your we think of your faithful work. Uh -huh. Your loving deeds. Your loving. Now, the people were faithfully working. They, 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 were, they were lovingly doing some things. Uh -huh. And the enduring hope you have because of our Lord Jesus. They Christ. had enduring hope. Let me see from a, another version, from Restore, NLT. And I mean NIV. And Nicky James. You continually remember before our God and Father mm -hmm. your work produced by faith. That is, the, the Paul looking back at the church, they what? They saw their works. What, how do they work? How do they produce their work? It is by faith. The first key thing we need, if we must make the rapture, is called the works of faith. What do I call it? The works, the works of, works faith. of faith. That's the first key thing we need. We need. What do you say? What do you see? We remember yours. What do you remember? The first thing is your work produced by faith. So when people have faith, their faith produce what? It produce work. Amen. So if your faith does not produce work, you cannot make the rapture. So the first thing needed to make the rapture is what? Is the works of faith. What do I call it? The, the works, works of, faith. of faith. And that's why James will tell James chapter 2, when you read from verse, from verse 14, he said, faith without work is what? Is dead. You don't just, 
The Bible says, the Bible says walk out your salvation. The works of it, we're going to be looking at it deeply. The first thing we need is what? It's called the what? The works. Paul said, your works that was what? That was produced. How did they? What gave birth to the work? Their faith did what? Produce work. Let me see from King James. Verse 3 from King James. Chapter 1, verse 3. Chapter 1, verse 3. Uh-huh. Remembering without season your work of faith. Your work of faith. And labor of love. And labor. And no, the second thing is what? You need is what? Labor of love. What do I call it? Labor. Because the entire message of Paul to the church tonight was what? In the first letter was what? Was to encourage the believers that Jesus is going to come one day for them. As he said in John chapter 14. So I'm going to pray a place for you. When I go and I pray a place, I'll come back and take you. So that where I am, you can be. So Paul telling them that no matter what you are passing through, my greatest joy is that you, don't, you didn't just believe him alone. I have heard the testimony of the works that your faith is producing. Amen. And I've also heard about what? The labor of love. Amen. The what? The labor of love. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to explain it more as we continue. The what? The labor. When people love God, there is a labor. There is something that they do. You don't just love God with mouth. There is some things that comes out. There are some things that are what? There are some labor that result from love. And that's why the Bible says, let us not just love in words, but let love also love in words. In deeds, I love you, it's not mouth. Amen. Amen. What labor is the proof of genuine love? What do I say? Labor is the proof of genuine love. And the labor of love is a sacrificial labor. What I call it is what? Is a sacrificial labor. We we'll explain as we continue. Uh-huh. The thirteen. What is the thirteen? It says here. The labor of love and the what? The labor of love mm-hmm. and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. And patience of hope. Let me see what I love the way NIV put it. Or the story from NIV for us. Your work produced by faith. Your works that is produced. <laughs> by what? By faith. So the work they have, what produce? It's produced by what? It is by faith that this work is produced. It's by faith. Whatever they were doing, it was the works that was seen was by the resulting effect of their faith. The proof of their faith was their works. Uh-huh. The second thing. Uh-huh. Your, la- your labor promoted by prompted. Prompted. By the labor that was what? So when people have love, their love prompts labor. Uh-huh, the thought in uh-huh. And your endurance inspired by hope. So endurance inspired by what? Hope. So when people have hope, what do you see about them? Their hope does what? It inspires them to endure. Praise the Lord. It does what? What was the motivation of the early church? What do you think would have been the motivation that have inspired the man called Apostle John? Even after they have tried to kill him, he could not die. They carried him and put on the island of Patmos to, to, to be there, to, to die of hunger. What do you think made them not to, not to be resolute? James was arrested by Herod. And Herod said, if you don't, if you don't recount your faith, I will kill you. And James said, you better kill me. No, no, no. Not tomorrow. Now. He put his neck down. What do you think inspired those people? What inspired those endurance? Amen. Their endurance was what? Was inspired. Let me see how NNT put it. It was inspired by what? By their hope. Amen. So why are people giving up on God cheaply? Amen. Because somebody, somebody did not see a husband to marry. He started opening herself up to every man. Why do, what do you think? Is, why, why do you think is, she couldn't stay but mess around? Because somebody didn't get a job. She went and put herself for men to sleep with her so I can give her a job. What do you, why, do, why do you think it is? It's because the person does not have what is called hope. Brethren, if you don't have hope, the devil will squeeze Christ out of your life. 
Faith will leave you. Amen. We are living in the most trying moment in the history of the church. And the only thing that can keep us in this time of, of in this time is what? Is what? Is our hope. Amen. People come backslide because they are because they lack hope. You cannot finish the journey if you don't have hope. If you are going to finish the journey, you are miss the trials. And miss what you are having to. Amen. 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 Endurance. If you are going to endure whatever it is you are passing through, no matter how hard it is. Amen. If you are going to endure it, you need hope. Praise the Lord. So these three things, they are very key. What are these three things? The Bible, let's go to uh, 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 this place, First Corinthians 13, 30. Let's see what the Bible says about these three things. Very important. These three things, very key things. First Corinthians 13, 13. Three things will last forever. What will last forever? Three things. No, are you hearing that? How many things will last forever? Three things. Only these three things we want will last forever. Money will not last forever. Husband will not last forever. Wife will not. Sometimes the wife died before the husband. Marriage does not last forever. Eh, eh. There is no marriage in heaven. Don't die yourself because your husband say if you don't if you don't if you don't if you don't do a sinful thing you will not she will not marry again and you go and do it. My husband, I love my husband. Don't you know marriage does not last forever? <laughs> Praise the Lord. You want to go to hellfire because of your marriage? Eh? Praise the Lord. Some people are decided to go to hellfire because they think that marriage lasts forever. Three things. There are how many things that last forever? Three things. Children doesn't last forever. Three things last forever. Money doesn't last forever. Enjoyment doesn't last forever. I'm enjoying myself. It doesn't last forever. All those things will come and go. But there are three things. What are these three things? Uh-huh. Faith. Faith. I see number. What are these three things? Number one is faith. Uh-huh. What's the second hope. one? Hope. Hope is the second one. Uh-huh. Love. Love. And the greatest of this is love. The greatest of this is love. The last forever. Amen. So is it not foolishness to live the things that last forever and pursue things that don't last forever? These are the things to push. They last forever. Let me see the way Kijem said that. Read from Kijem for me. Now abided faith. Now abided what? Abided faith. faith. Uh-huh. Hope. Hope. Charity. Charity. These three. Mm-hmm. But the greatest of this is charity. Yeah, this is charity. They are the greatest of all things. I don't, I don't know why. Read from verse 12. Let me see what verse 12 is. This. For now we see through a glass mm-hmm. darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but mm-hmm. then shall I know even as also I am known. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. abided faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of this is charity. charity. Let me see how NIV put it. And now these three remain. Mm-hmm. Faith, mm-hmm. hope, and love. Mm-hmm. But the greater of this is love. Mm-hmm. 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 They remain. There are three things that remain. Amen. And these are the three things that we need. If you don't have them, Forget about the rapture. You know, forget about what? Yeah. About the rapture. You cannot make the rapture. You need these three things to be able to what? To make the rapture. Let's see first. Uh, we've seen First Corinthians. Okay, let's see more scriptures. Amen. Let's see Romans, uh, Romans chapter. Okay, let's see Colossians chapter 123 first. Colossians 123. Colossians 123. If you continue where? In, in your, your faith. faith. Uh-huh. Established and firm. Uh-huh. Not moved from the hope held out in the gospel. Uh-huh. This is the gospel that you heard, and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Uh-huh. May the Lord help us to continue in faith. Uh-huh. And to continue to hold on to the hope we have uh-huh. in the gospel. Uh-huh. No matter what we are passing through. We refuse to give up. Amen. 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 We do what? We refuse to give up. Let me see. Corinthians 1 8. 
2 Corinthians, and then Romans 12, 12. Romans 12, 12. Let's see briefly, Romans 12, 12. One eight, huh? Says, we do not want you to be uninformed, mm -hmm. brothers, mm -hmm. about the hardship we suffered in the province of Asia. Mm -hmm. We were under great pressure, mm -hmm. far beyond our ability to endure, mm -hmm. so that we despaired even of life. Mm -hmm. Indeed, in our hearts we felt the sentence of death. But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves but on God. You can read it down later and see what Paul says here. But let me see what King James. What did King James say about that? Verse 12. Verse 8. Verse 2 Corinthians 1 8. 1 8. <coughs> Fast reader. And then if you see, if you see Roman. The says, He mm -hmm. has delivered us from such a deadly period, mm -hmm. and He delivered us. Mm -hmm. On Him we have set our hope mm -hmm. that He will continue to deliver us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you reading? Oh yeah, Romans. Romans 12, 12. If you are there, read down for me. Mm. Let's go to uh, go to that one. Romans. Rejoice in our confidence, in our confidence hope. Mm -hmm. Be patient in trouble. And keep on praying. Be what? Patience in word, in trouble. Rejoice in what? In your word. How did you just put it? Rejoicing in hope. Rejoicing in hope. Patience in tribulation. Patience in tribulation. Continuing in stance in prayer. In prayers. So, brother, whatever I are passing through, let's what? Let's do what you say we should do. Rejoice we should what? Rejoice we should rejoice in hope. In hope. In we should be patient. Continue faithfully. Brethren, because there is a hope, we have a hope of what? Of the day that our master Jesus shall come. That is our greatest uh, hope oh, that one day our Lord is going to come. Let's see Hebrews 6.10. Hebrews 6.10. Hebrews 6.10. Yes, Hebrews 6.10. Hebrews 16. God is not unjust. Mm -hmm. He will not forget your work mm -hmm. and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God is not what? He's not unjust. What do you want to say? Read from God is not unrighteous mm -hmm. to forget your work and labor of love. To forget your works and work and, and labor of love. Which mm -hmm. you have shown towards his name. Mm -hmm. In that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Do you know what? So, the labor of love is talking about the things we do out of love for humanity. You understand what I'm saying, man? What is the labor of love? The things that we do for the brethren out of the love of Christ. That is what? That is what is called the what? The labor of love. The things you do for the brethren out of love. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, when I went to, you know, by the time we were going to Benue, People were asking me, eh, are you from Benue State? I said, no. They said, why is it that you're always going to help them there? <laughs> I was laughing at them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you know what it means to show the Lord? You know what the labor of love means now? Amen. Amen. The labor. Jesus said, you know, it's Paul that wrote, uh, I think that is uh, where he was talking about, uh, James 1 to 27. That pure and undivided religion before the Father is what? Is to help the world, the poor and the needy, the widows and the fatherless, and to keep oneself spotted from the world. That is pure religion. Amen. Amen. And when Jesus was reprimanding them in, a, in a Revelation chapter 2, when you read from verse 1 to 6, say, Remember, from where they have fallen and what? And return back to your world, to your first love. He was talking about the fact that they were not doing the and, and do the works she did before. Their first love was. Was what kept the brethren together. They showed love. They showed, they were they were they were they showed kindness. Amen. And the Bible says the greatest of all is what is love. And I pray the Lord will bring us back to this point in Jesus' name. You know Isaiah chapter fifty-eight was saying something there. He said, "Just forget about this. You are doing nonsense fasting. You come to me and say you are fasting. 
Says, so break your fast and go and help the poor, the oppressed, the needy. And then I will, the sun will break over you quickly. Not all this one where some people can go and stay on the mountain and do fasting for, for, for 40 days. But they are seeing brethren need, they cannot help. That is nonsense. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is no level of love. Amen. How you convince yourself to help the brethren? Amen. Amen. So, I hope you understand what the Bible The level of love is more of what? Of what we do to the brethren in out of love. How we care for the widows, how we care for the orphans, how we care for the missionaries, how we care for the IDPs. These are what? What is it called? It is called labor of love. And that is one of the things the church is lacking. And Jesus said to them, to them in Matthew chapter 24, I mean, 25, no, is it 25? 36, let's go there. Where he said, when I was hungry, he didn't give me to eat. No, it's 25, it's 25. 25, 36. Say, when I was naked, he didn't clothe me. Say, depart from me. And into the world, into the outer darkness of his weeping and gnashing of teeth. So, in, a, in our write up, a book about the, the, the four people on their way to hell, one of them is people who didn't show love. If you don't show love, you can't go to heaven. Are you there? March 25, 36. 35, okay. Uh-huh. I was hungry, he gave me something to eat. I was hungry. That is the people on his right hand now. Was, Let's go. Uh-huh. I was texting you, gave me something to drink. Uh-huh. There was a stranger who invited me in. Go to, 40, go to 40, go to 40. The king will reply, uh-huh. I tell you the truth. Uh-huh. Whatever you did to, you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Uh-huh. Then he will say on those of his left, uh-huh. depart from me. Depart from me. You who are cursed. Who are cursed. Into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Uh-huh. But I was hungry, you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. But I was a stranger, you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison. I did not look after me. They, w- they, w- they also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothing or sick or in prison and did not help you? Then he will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever I did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment. They will go away to where? Eternal, eternal punishment. Because they didn't have what is called what? The labor of what? The labor of love. They may have the work of faith. Oh. What is the first one? The first is what? The works of faith. They may have the work. They may be raising the dead, Abby. They may be evangelists going about preaching the gospel, Abby. Amen. But they lack what? You need these three things. And the Bible said the greatest of them is what? What is the case of them? First Corinthians 13. Oh, wow. It's love. So love there is talking about what? The labor of love. The greatest of them all. And that is why I say, if I have everything that did not have love, I am what? I am a, I am what? I am a, 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 a what? A noisome simba. Because love is the greatest of all. Hallelujah. So you must have love. You must have faith. And your faith must produce works. Jesus talks about the work of faith. Say, greater works than this you do. You're not talking about, 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 about showing love. You're talking about about doing the work of the master. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So the Lord will help us Amen. in this journey. We need the three. We need the word. The word. We need the, the word. The works of faith. Our faith must produce works. He said, if your brother is hung, your brother is hungry and you, t- you pray for him and say, God bless you, and you go and say, where then is your love? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So a lot of people have faith. Amen. And they are doing work of faith, but they don't have what? They don't have, they are not rich in labor of love. So they will not also make rapture. So it must be a balance. You must have what is called a word. There must be work of faith and there must also be what? The labor of what? The labor of love. Let's look at some scripture about the work of faith. Let's, there are so many, I, can't, I don't want to go into much teaching tonight because the time is already far gone. Let's look at John 14, verse 12. John 14, 12. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 to 10. There's no time for us to go too much scriptures. I think our time is almost off. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 8 to 10. Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. 
Ephesians 2, 8 to 10. Anyone you have seen, read. Have you seen John chapter 14, verse 12? Okay. Mm-hmm. I tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Anyone who has faith in me will do what I have been doing. Mm-hmm. He will do even greater things than this because I am going to the Father. Now, what, is, what was he doing? Jesus was, what was he doing? The works of faith. What was Jesus doing? You know his works now. He was going about everywhere doing what? The Bible says he was going from Matthew chapter 10. Tell us, Matthew chapter 9 from verse 1. Chapter 10 verse 1. Tell us that he was going about doing what? Preaching the gospel from village to village. Is that what he was doing? And then doing what? Praying for the sick. Praying for what? Healing the sick. Abby. Raising the dead. Those were what? What do they call them? They are called the works of what? The works of faith. He was going about doing evangelism. Preaching the gospel. Abby. Ministry to the people. Doing a morning cry. Going to do evangelism. What are they called? Raising the dead. Praying, going to help people to go and pray for the sick. What are they called? Those things are actually called what? The works of what? The works of faith. So Jesus says, the work I do, what will you do? Greater works than this will you do. So the question now is, that how much have you done? That's the question before us. How much have we done? And we need it. One of the three things I did it for all to make the rapture is what? the works of faith, the labor of love, and what? And what? And then, and then what? And then enduring. Amen. Perseverance. Hope. Amen. Perseverance in hope or endurance in hope. We need what? We need endurance in hope. Endurance. What do we need? We need patience. What we saw, we saw it in where? As we saw from the scripture. We need what? Patient in hope. Endurance in hope. We endure in hope. Now, look at what this thing does. Let's wrap up this evening. Let's, I will not go to school again because I don't have time to read again. Now, look at what the three does. Now, the first one who said is what? Is the works of faith. So, the works of faith, Jesus said, go into all the world and go and make what? Disciples of all the people. That is his command. Is that also? So in obeying, in doing the work of faith, you are what? You are obeying Matthew 28 from verse 18 down to the end. So you are preaching, say, going to the whole world and preach the gospel. And is that also? That is the assignment given to us. So in doing that, what are you not doing? You are what? You are doing the work of faith. Amen. So what happened? By so doing, more people will now come to faith in Jesus. You save more people. You you what? You bring people to what? To salvation in Jesus. That is assignment number one. But is that all that is required for me to make the rapture? The answer is no. What is the second thing that is required for me? What is it called? The labor of love. What is the labor of love about? When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was naked, you gave me to clothe. Whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren. So, now, the, the, our Christian today has been turned to what? Has been turned to only what? The work of faith. We are now we are, we have we have neglected completely what is called the word the labor of love. So and that is why much people are going to hell. Only few are going to heaven. Amen. And then on the other on, 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 on the third part of it again. Now a lot of people are backsliding. There is so much upon. Why is it so? Because of our, of tribulations of life, because of troubles. People are now jumping from pillar to post. They don't even want to know who the person is. Whether it's a Belam, a Jezebel, they don't want to know as far as the person can see vision. As far as the person can prophesy, can pray for them, can, 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 can give them what they want. People are just outside solution. Because they, do, they want, they lack what, what is called what? Patience, what? Patience in hope or what? Or endurance of hope. What do I call it? Endurance of hope. It's not there. And so in Romans chapter what? Romans 12, 12 says what? He says what? He says rejoicing in what? In hope. Patience in tribulation. It's no longer there again. Because people are not. They, now, when people take their eyes off the coming of the Lord. Now, the kind of gospel we preach today, it, it only emphasizes the work of faith. It erodes two, the, two major things. The, the, and the greatest thing is eroded. And what is the greatest thing? Love. That is the work of love. It's eroded. And then the crown of it all is that it has taken our focus off Jesus, the coming of the Messiah. So we are now what? And that is why Paul will tell us in 1 Corinthians that 
if it is only in this world that we have hope in Christ, or of, of all men, we are the world, we are the most miserable. So, a lot of believers today, their hope in Christ is in material things. Tell them, why did they go to Living Faith Church? Because they want to become prosperous. Why did they go to Redeem? Because Adeboye is performing miracles, so they want to, they want to have miracles also. Tell them, why are they, why did they run to uh, Tibi uh, Why did they go to Tibi place? People go to Tibi place. Why were they going there? Because they needed miracles. I mean, so. so, when people don't have hope in Christ, when their hope is not in the coming of Jesus, small problem can mislead them. Small problem can make them. That's why there is too many backsliding, too many apostasy. There is so many people are falling away from the faith every day because there is no hope. They, they, and the pastors have, have the ones that have caused it because they have removed people's mind. The focus is no longer about the coming of Jesus again. It's about what we get. Jesus has become like Babalawo God. You know, you know he, all you need to Babalawo is what? Is to go to Babalawo and carry cola or carry small money and go there. And it tells you what you need and what should be done. That also, that's what I was taught to do. So, make go and ask many people who are in church today, why, what is their hope? Why are they in that church? Some people are there because they are expecting miracle baby. People are there because they are expecting breakthrough. They are expecting one thing. It is not hope in the coming of Jesus any longer. Very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, help me, Lord, to possess these three things. We are going to expand more in our next teaching. And what are these three things? Number one is what? The works of faith. The works of faith. Let me not be a believer who don't, who, don't, who, don't, who don't have regard for the work of God. Amen. Help me, Lord. We are not doing well in the place of, in the, in the place of work of faith. We need to what? We need to take it aggressively. We must approach these three things aggression. You must be radical in producing works of faith. You must be radical in showing the what in showing the level of love. I must be radical in what in putting your hope. No matter if you are going to perish, let me perish. Paul says, "You mean you mean to trust my soul, my my soul with sorrow?" He said, "No, you don't even know what you're talking about." Say, "Not only am I ready to suffer for him, but also what to also die for him." This is a man who had hope in the Lord. They were stoning Stephen to death. Stephen was, was what? He was rejoicing in hope. <laughs> he was what? Stephen was what? He was rejoicing in hope. They were stoning him. Go and go and read uh, what happened to the brethren in a, in a torture for Christ. And uh, what is that country again? Uh, am I forgetting that country? Where this man was. Amen. They were tortured during the communists. Amen. They were, they were torturing them. They were rejoicing as they were tying dying. Punish people were people were hungry and hunger was beating them and they were they were they were, they were laughing and, and, and rejoicing and praising God to the die. Amen. A man they used hot iron to pierce him. He was rejoicing as he was dying. He was not crying for the pain because the joy was excess. Hot iron. Go and read about what communism did. Great evil. Richard Wambara wrote about, 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 about torture for Christ. People were they were under torture. They said the early church, you remember now, they were in the in the in the in the in the DC, they would they will put believers together. They, they will now they will now release lion to come and be eating them. They will be rejoicing lion will be killing them. People will be taken and put into boiling oil. Oil is boiling. Wonder. They carry them, put that boiling oil. Oh yeah, they are they are praising God while oil is frying them. They will fry to death. These are men that have what is called what? They have what is called what? The patience of what? Of, of, of hope. They had patience of hope. It's not there again. Because we are not preaching the true gospel again. We are preaching fake gospel. We, are, we, are, we, are, we have apostatized. We have left the gospel of Christ. But the Bible says, it, says it is too many tribulations that we shall enter into the kingdom. The Bible says, for all that will live godly life in this world must suffer tribulation. All, not so, all of them, including myself and you, Sir Rebecca. You are having your own portion now. Mom is having our portion now. We are all having. He said, Oh, you can't change the order. And that is why, if you don't have these three things, you are not going to heaven. And the devil has robbed us of the gospel that ignites these things. When you hear the word of God, you should go back rejoicing. After Acts chapter 5, after they have flogged Peter and then and the rest of them, the Bible said they came back rejoicing that they were worthy 
to be counted to suffer for Jesus. Is that so again today? No way. The gospel have changed. This is not the same gospel of Christ we are preaching again. A crossless gospel is a satanic gospel. Our gospel has no cross in it. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, say what? Deny yourself. Carry your cross and follow me. That is the gospel. Anything outside this is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is what? It is a satanic gospel. It is a satanic message. Praise the Lord. We have left the way of the Lord. We have left him long ago. So when brethren have small problem, they think that, uh, they think that, uh, they think that uh, it's a cause. They even tell that when you are suffering, you are what? You are under a cause. That is not the gospel. So it not make people to be running hell task -heter. And the devil has positioned his agent as pastors and prophets and, and apostles everywhere. So, small problem that a, a believer in Christ should be what? Should be serving God and what? And, and hoping in the coming. Now, we now, our hope now is in the thing that is a small, small thing that he does for us. Our body healing, our, our food we are eating, our, you know, that becomes our hope. Who bewitch us like this? Paul, speak to the Galatians, Galatians 5. Galatians 2, he said, who bewitch you, O foolish Galatians? He says in Galatians 1, he says, Galatians 1, he says, if even though an angel from heaven come and preach to another gospel, he says, let him be accursed. Because Paul, he said, the servant of Galatians 1, he said, for they are perverting the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's pray, Lord, please help me, Lord. Patience in tribulation. Patience in suffering. Lord, the labor of love. Kalada shakatoria. And the works of faith, Katalabush. I will not be discouraged. See, if you are a true child of God that have these three things, nothing can this you cannot backslide. Mm, you can't backslide when you have these three things. You cannot backslide. Rapture is sure for you. Heaven is sure for you. But if you lack one of them, you are gone. Let's pray, Lord, please equip us. Lord, katapoko si katabalaya. That my hope will be in the Lord, in the coming of Jesus. That is where my hope is. You know what he says? He said, comfort one another with what? With this world. Comfort yourselves. Say, for you don't need to what? To be what? To, you don't need to be like others who do not have hope. We have hope. Our hope is that Jesus is going to come. Whether my sickness is healed or not, too, that is not where my hope is. My hope is what? He's going to come one and take me home. That is my hope. It doesn't matter. Whether I'm eating Gary every day or not, that is not my problem. My hope is that one day I'm going to heaven. That is my greatest hope. I don't care what it is on this side. Let's pray, Lord, help us. Lord, renew my hope in you. Renew my hope, Lord. That my that hope, the Bible say, for that hope is our anchor, is our anchor. Let my hope in you be renewed tonight, Lord Jesus. Lord, let your love be poured, shed abroad in my heart afresh. Fresh love for you so that I can produce the labor of love. Ignite me with fresh faith that I can produce the work of faith. Because when you have faith, you produce work of faith. Lord, ignite in me faith. Let's stand on our feet and begin to pray. Start up this video. I will not miss the rapture, Lord. Help me, Lord. Kanda labush. Shambre gedebo lobo dobo kusikata. Le kapatu kaparadai. Repo kotoli. Lona raba shakatoli. Strengthen me again, Lord. Kande lebosh. Energize me. Mandalesh kambale shakatoli. It was faith that made them to walk. It was faith that made them. Paul was moving about from everywhere, from one corner of the world to one corner of the world. At a point in Tonaka, they wanted to kill Paul and, and, and Silas and, and Paul and Silas. They had to escape for, for their life. Yet they continued to preach because they had hope. They had faith and they had love. Lord, give me these three things. Faith. Love and hope. Karma legede. Faith, Lord, I need it, Lord. Love and hope, Lord. Karma rido shakatabalai. From the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'll make him a pillar in temple. 
talking of my God. Mm -hmm. Never again will he leave it. Mm -hmm. I will write on him the name of my God. Mm -hmm. Continue. And the name of the city of my God. Uh -huh. The new Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which is coming down out of heaven from my God. Mm -hmm. And I will also write on him my new name. Mm -hmm. He who has an ear. Let's hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Okay, which, okay read for the verse before. The way he said, hold fast to what you have. Let no man take it away from you. Okay, that's from verse 10. Verse 10, okay. Since you have kept my command mm -hmm. to endure patiently, mm -hmm. I will also keep you from the hour of trial. I will also keep you from what? The hour of trial. The hour of trial, uh -huh. That is going to come upon the whole world mm -hmm. to test those who live on the earth. Mm -hmm. I am coming soon. Mm -hmm. Hold on to what you have. I am coming soon. What do you hold on to? Hold have. on to what you have. So that no one will take your crown. Some people, they have, their crown have been taken. They are no longer having anything. Bangolo, empty gong, noisy cymbals. Yes. They don't even know themselves that what they have have been taken. You are going to pray, Lord, my crown shall not be taken. I am holding it tight tonight, Lord. Can you pray from your heart? Hey! Shakatabala. Kura badabala balish. My own crown shall not be taken. Hey, hey, hey. So many people in churches, their crown have been taken. They don't know. That's what the devil is looking for. That's why he's looking for. That's why he's bringing the trouble before you. The troubles is to take your crown away. It's an exchange. I refuse to exchange my crown for anything. I will endure to the end. I will endure to the end. Kaladabo shakada. Shabalaga de gelege de I will endure to the very end. Kabaradali. Hey, patient in tribulation. Kaladabaradish. No matter what the devil do, ha <laughs> ha. I will follow him to the end. No turning back. No turning back. Kamalejikata. Bale karusha kapalia. No matter the trials. No matter the troubles. No matter the temptation. No matter the affliction. No matter the troubles and problems of life, I will not to my crown. I hold on to what I have. My crown will not be taken away. Suma lagade. Kabaradabai. Rakutu kaparadaba shakaturia. Lord, help me to the end. Sumale. I will not sell my garments. I will not sell my garments. He said that your garment be not soiled. Hey, I will not soil my garment, Lord. I will not soil my garment. Kalebosh. I hold on to what I have. No man takes my crown. Nothing takes my crown away from me. Kuri Maria. Ezikotuli. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at what Brother Paul says. Says, I have finished the race. Amen. I have kept. The word, the faith. <laughs> and what is laid for, laid for me now is what? Is to receive my word, the crown of righteousness. You are going to pray last prayer. Lord, I will, fin I will finish this race. Amen. I will keep the faith. Amen. Amen. And I will, and I will receive my crown. Last prayer. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. No matter what, I will finish this race to the end. Ah, Maradosh. No matter what it is, what the devil does, I will finish this race. Hey, I will finish my course. I will keep the faith. And I will receive my crown of righteousness. Nakalo Shapara. Zikoporodobo Zikata. Malege de Gelegedi. Me. A true soldier, I die at my post. I love him far better than him. I 
It pays to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. He will always be with us if we do our part. There is nothing this wide world can pleasures of all. I will be a true soldier and die at my post. I love him far better than in days of old. I will serve him more holy than ever before. I will do as he beats me, whatever the cause. I will be a true soldier. I'll die at my poor. I love him. I love him. God bless you. I remain your brother, Moses George Enemy God Special, National Restoration Program. The Lord bless you. I want to encourage you if you are blessed by this message, please try and share it to others and then try to follow us on our YouTube channel and then on our Facebook page, the Global Christian Blade Facebook page. You can follow us and also introduce more people to listen to this. And then uh, we have a lot of books that will bless your life both on Amazon Bookstore, and then we have hard copies. God bless you as you partner with us in this great work of the Lord. Shalom, Maranatha, Maranatha, Hosanna.